Hello and welcome to Orderful. Today we will explore the Web EDI fulfillment solution within our platform. This product is perfect for companies starting out in the EDI space that do not wish to have a fully integrated solution. Currently, the Web EDI fulfillment product supports the following documents found within the order to invoice lifecycle. The 850 purchase order, 855 purchase order acknowledgement, 856 ship notice, and 810 invoice. Once a trading relationship has been established between you and your trading partner and testing has been completed, you are ready to receive your first purchase order within Orderful. We'll go ahead and click into this first one here, where we are able to see who sent us the purchase order, the purchase order number, and then click into the purchase order itself. As we scroll through, you'll see all the necessary information presented in a human readable format. At the top of our screen, we are able to acknowledge this purchase order with a click of a button. Once you've viewed the purchase order and acknowledged it, you can move on to the next step, the 855. We'll head back to our workflow overview and go ahead and click Create PO Acknowledgement. You'll notice that details from the purchase order have automatically populated for you here. You also have the flexibility to make changes to the acknowledgement as needed. For example, by accepting or rejecting the line item information. Let's go ahead and accept it, and we can scroll to the top and save our changes. We now see that our status has changed to valid, meaning that Orderful has validated the fields and values entered against your trading partner's requirements to ensure compliance. Let's go ahead and head back to our workflow overview screen, where we can then go ahead and send our PO acknowledgement. We can now go ahead and create our ship notice for 856. Again, fields from our purchase order have carried over. However, you'll notice that there are more required fields that must be completed before we can go ahead and send this to our trading partner. Let's go ahead and do that now. We have now completed all of the required fields, including our packing method, as well as, as we scroll through, the number of items that were shipped compared to what has been ordered. Again, at the top of our screen, we are able to save our changes. Heading back to our workflow overview, you are now able to go ahead and send our ASN. Our final step in the order to invoice cycle is creating the 810 invoice. We'll go ahead and create new and go ahead and fill out the required fields on this form. We have gone through and filled out the required fields, including invoice number, the bill to and ship to parties, line items, and again, the quantity that was shipped. You also have the ability to look at our charges and allowances box and add in any applicable discounts or fees that need to be associated to this invoice. In this case, we've added, added a promotional allowance for the order. Let's go ahead and save those changes. With any of the documents in the web EDI fulfillment process, with our print view, you can go ahead and print or save a PDF. If we head back to our order fulfillment tab, you also have the ability to filter out transactions. You can do that by order status or by specific trading partners, or maybe you're looking at a specific date range. And that concludes the order to invoice cycle using Orderful's Web EDI fulfillment solution.